Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Hey! Wake up, dude! Oh, man! You slept through the night, man! What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we started doing some work on the interior of this house. We actually started doing some tile work, and we are moving right along. We already knocked out one bathroom floor, and we're moving on to the next. And that's exactly where we're going to continue today. But before we actually do any of that, we got to fix a few things on the slab of this house, actually. First off, right here, this is not part of the slab, but this is like the foundation. We got to fill in all those blocks right there that are exposed at the top. That way, once we start doing our flooring, everything goes down nice and smooth. Moving right along, there is a few other sections that are just like this in the kitchen, as you can tell. I believe the plumbers actually had to uh, break some of that up in order to fix some of that plumbing. So we got to go ahead and patch all that, make it nice and smooth. That way, everything just sits down because we got cabinets that are going to sit right here. There's another section in the garage over there. So first things first, we're going to run down the mountain, pick up some mortar or some concrete, get that fixed, and then we'll move on with the tile. Dang, son, that sucker right there is tiny, dude. They got us good, man. Hey, I gotta man say. The box looked pretty big right there, so it was like $29, which is just a heck of a smoking deal. But when we popped that sucker open, it was like a bag of chips, man. Half of it was gone. Bag of Lay's right there. Bag of Lay's. But hey, man, it has 3.5 horsepower, so that's pretty powerful, dude. Yes, sir. We're going to put that sucker to the test. And the reason why we got a vacuum cleaner is because we got a lot of vacuuming to do, right? Yeah, we got to vacuum all those big old holes up in the ground before we throw the concrete in there. And it's nice to have a vacuum to like vacuum the tile floor before we do the tile. I mean, in general, we need a vacuum cleaner in this house. Yes, sir. So we're definitely going to see what this sucker is capable of. And also, we came back with some mortar or some concrete. And of course, we got some other nice tools and equipment right here. We're definitely going to show you guys what that's for. Something awesome, dude. Dude, that's going to be legit. But anyways, let's just go ahead and finish setting this little sucker up right here. Vacuum all these holes out and hopefully get some concrete in them.
Alrighty guys, so that is it. We finally repaired our slab in like four different sections. We got it nice and smooth. And up here in this doorway entry area, it was super crazy. We literally had to dump like six buckets of gravel into those blocks there. We're like four feet down, but you know what? We got it done, got it nice and smooth here. This whole entire floor is basically ready for some flooring. And we haven't decided, are we gonna do tile or some engineered glue down? What are we gonna do? Dude, I mean, you're thinking about doing some wooden looking tile planks, but I'm thinking about doing actual glue down wood, the real stuff, yeah. that way, it can match our wooden like planks on the steps and all that stuff. Yeah, I think dude. that may be the better way to go. That way everything just flows for, uh, properly from upstairs down to the stairs and down here, maybe wood, engineered wood would be the way to go. But that, and that tile, wooden looking tile was pretty neat too. Dude, it was neat. I know that Home Depot place, dude, they got some pretty neat looking wooden tile, but I really want something that will match the width of our hardwood. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, so that's gonna be kind of difficult right there, I believe, but we're gonna still decide on that. Let us know what you guys think. But as of right now, we are ready to work on the tile in the next bathroom that we already started. But you know what, before we do that, it's only tradition. Uh, if you see that car pull up, that means wheels on meals. So we're gonna go ahead and have a quick feast that mom brought us and we're just gonna get straight back to work. Alrighty guys, so we are back inside and as you can tell, we just got straight to work and we got some of this tile down already and it looks absolutely amazing. We got about less than half of it down, but I gotta say, like we expected, this is a lot more difficult than the regular square tile because we are dealing with six sides and six corners and it's like difficult to get like the gaps and the level, right? Oh yeah, I mean, we're using so much of these little gap uh, tools right here just to get them perfect and uh, we were gonna try a new technology out, these little things right here. Uh, this is supposedly gonna level the whole entire floor out, but we're running into a little issue, man. Yeah, because of since we are dealing with so much sides, it just becomes a little bit of a hassle to just try to level everything out because I don't think the tile is perfectly flat. So you can level one side and then it'll like uh, throw the other side off or something like that. We're just gonna use the good old fashioned method, the hand smooth over the top. And I think we'll get it perfectly flat. I mean, so far it's looking good, dude. Oh yeah, I mean, we're, we're knocking this stuff out. It is taking a lot longer than we expected as well but you know what this bathroom is pretty small so that's yeah. going to give us a little bit of an advantage hey it's a little bit smaller but you know what it's still going to take some time but you know what's speeding it up that tile saw out there dude. dude that thing is an absolute beast man it's cutting it it's cutting it way faster than the other one and it's cutting it a lot smoother yes they're super precise super clean we went ahead and cut around this not so clean right there but you know what where it's uh, this right here is all going to be covered up so we're yeah. not too worried about that and what we did a different pattern that we thought we were going to do, dude. That's exactly what I was going to say next. Instead of doing like a pentagon right there, we got the other end of the pentagon and did a triangle right there. It's going to be a small cut, but it looks super clean and it's just going to look just appealing to the eye. Dude. Oh yeah, it's going to be aesthetically way nicer looking once we get this all done, dude. That's the word I was looking for, aesthetically, dude. But so far, dude, this tile is super killer looking, so let's just keep on moving and hopefully get it all knocked out.
Alrighty guys, so check that out. We finally got this whole entire bathroom floor knocked out with that octa not octagon, hexagon hexagonal shape. shape. And I gotta say, this has gotta be the most technical tile we've ever done. I mean, we did spend kind of like all day on this thing, trying to get it as perfect as possible, but it's all gonna be worth it at the end, especially with the white grout that we're gonna do and the probably the different contrast against the tile on the shower and the vanity and all that good stuff. But we got it knocked out, man. You yes, know what sir. I mean? It's all knocked out and I'm super happy to see how it looks right now. Can't you get like a black toilet to match the top? What? A black toilet? I've seen I mean, that in some restaurants before. Yeah, I did see that one time, a black toilet, but I don't know, man. Maybe that'll be too much black. What if, do a gold toilet or like a fake gold toilet or something. A gold plated <laughs> toilet? Dude, there's so much that we're going to have to look into because we want this interior to pop. Like we mentioned before, there's not much square footage here, so yeah. we want to make everything super yeah. cool. Not a big house, so might as well be uh, as cool as possible. <laughs> but <laughs> exactly. we are done here. The next thing that we're going to move on to in these bathrooms rooms is probably the tubs right or the showers you exactly know I mean? yeah and we can't work with this one because it's still drying curing we can work with that one over there but there is one thing that we got to install oh yeah install. Well, yeah we got one thing that we got to install we did kind of mention it that we are trying to do a steam room shower in there and it actually came in just in the nick of time right here this is our elite steam uh, steam generator so we picked this off off of amazon for like 1500 bucks right here this is the 10 kilowatt version so it should produce a uh, quite a bit of steam in that it should be like right a dang locomotive steam engine yeah, or hopefully something hopefully just steams that whole thing up but you know what we are probably going to plan on installing this ourselves right exactly originally the plan was to just call the plumber out here because he's done this before the plumber the electrician oh, yeah. because this thing runs off of a 220 volt 30 like uh, amp uh, cord but we, which we already bought we that's what that super long drill bit was for that way we can drill it all to its location so i say we go ahead and pop this sucker open see what it's about and to just see how we can install this thing Wake up, dude. Oh, man. You slept through the night, man. Ooh, man, those instructions done got to me, man. Dude, I think they bogged your mind. <laughs> but dude, this sucker is crazy. But it is the next day here, and what do we got here, dude, man? We went to a local hardware store, and I think we got everything that we need to do to actually plumb this whole entire thing up. I mean, we got a porch here. We got some knees and elbows, shark bites, even a cramp tool, a big roll of copper wire. But dude, man, I think I think we can get this done, dude. I think so, too. I mean, we've never done plumbing before, but we talked to a couple contractors and our plumber. He said we should handle it. Yeah, dude. he said this is pretty dang simple, but he is going to double check it before we actually plumb water up or connect water to the house so i mean that's just a good relief right there but honestly we just want to connect this thing to the shower that way we can go ahead and start finishing the showers up exactly start doing the tile on the shower but look at this sucker dude this sucker can go into the attic it can go downstairs but we're going to go into the closet right yeah, we're going to go into the closet because that's the room right next to it and that's going to be the easiest way all we have to do is just go through the sheetrock and we're right into the shower dude yes sir we're about to be doing some copper soldering of course we got the solder as well we got a bunch of cool stuff that we've never used before so this is pretty exciting dude, i'm dude. pretty excited to weld some copper pipe in and i'm honestly pretty excited to actually do some plumbing in to route this thing up dude, dude. let's have at it man let's go ahead and jump inside that closet and see if we can get this thing plumbed up
Alrighty guys, so check this out. We got the whole entire unit mounted to some studs on the wall there, and you did your very first copper welding, dude. Dude, copper soldering, whatever welding, but dude, it was actually pretty dang simple. I heated it from the bottom and welded it all the way around, just like the YouTube videos say, and I think we got a pretty solid line here, dude. Yes, sir, and luckily this is not like a high pressure line. Yeah, this is just the steam line. The steam is just gonna come out just straight out there, and we don't have much line here. It's literally just like six, seven inches of, of copper lining, which we'll just monitor since it's in the uh, actual closet exactly so. and we used all the proper stuff you use this map gas because it gets really hot right here plus we got like some H2O H2O the flux, flux. The flux stuff so we went ahead and did it before we welded it and then after and it cleaned it up really nicely and uh, I guess we'll see whenever we connect water to this thing yes, sir. so that is that's pretty much it for this copper line the steam line on the other end we'll do that once the shower is complete yeah, right? we just got it going out there a couple inches bigger that way whenever we get our tile and stuff we can measure it out and then cut it later but as of right now it's time to actually try to run our water line to this thing yeah so we got to tap into the water line in the shower the cold line or the uh, hot line the cold line we're just, i say i mean it doesn't really matter but i say we just do the, the to the cold line just to make it a lot dude, easier let's keep on becoming some plumbers dude let's do it It's official, dude. You are a plumber, dude. dude. A copper plumber, man. And a PVC. I'm not certified just yet, though. You gotta remember, we ha do not have no water connected oh, yeah. at all. Heck, this could be a big old like sprinkler system just everywhere. <laughs> dude, that would suck because I mean, a lot of time went into this, and like we figured out as we went, and it turned out pretty dang good. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I mean, we connected to our main power or water source inside the bathroom, got it leading through the wall and to an on and off switch. We got it back here just in case anything happens. We can just shut it off and it goes into a t-fitting that comes and curves all the way up and uh, just goes straight into this box dude yes, so sir. we're basically ready to go man this sucker is ready plumbed up all it needs is some electricity yep. right so this thing actually runs off of some 220 volt or 240 volt we actually bought a 200 or 600, 600 volt, volt uh, wire so it should be plenty and uh we just gotta run it to our power box and one way we're gonna do it is with this thing right here and just go through the floor dude that is right we already did all of our measurements off the walls and if we just drill like somewhere close by that box we're gonna land right into the water heater closet. Yeah the water heater closet that's inside the garage and the ceiling is actually not finished in there so it's perfect we'll just drill through it and our power box is actually like two feet that way up underneath there so once we get it down there we can easily just go through the wall over there and just get it to the power box but that's what that, we'll probably leave that for the electricians but for now we just want to go ahead and route everything to this. Thing. Yeah we can run all the stuff and we'll get those guys to hook it up later so what do you say dude? I say go ahead and fire this bad girl up and start drilling a hole through the floor.
All right, so we officially got the wire ran from the electrical panel up to this steamer right here. And it was a little bit more difficult than we expected because we did run into a few little roadblocks here and there, but we managed to get it nice and clean. And we're basically done with this sucker. All we gotta do is actually call the plumber out here just to okay this before we could actually start on the shower and the master over there. And in the next video, we're probably gonna go ahead and throw cement board all in that shower and pick out some tile, do something epic like we mentioned, dude. Oh yeah, we gotta go ahead and pick out the tile for all three of our bathrooms. Bathrooms, yeah. even the one downstairs and we should be done with this tile in no time yeah dude. as soon as we're done with the tile we got trim on the way then we're probably gonna do all the trim ourselves to this house is gonna be done before you know it, which we're super excited about that because the interior is just gonna fly together but as right now we're probably gonna be done with the house for today because it is a Saturday after all late in the day but we actually got something planned at the original gun squad garage that we have been meaning to do so let's just go ahead and head that way and show you guys what we got All right, so we made it back to the original Goon Squad garage and we ended up throwing on the Street Hunter wing on the Supra. We did have to wait a couple of days for the winglets to dry because that was a fresh paint job, but we're super happy with how this wing turned out. And once again, huge shout out to Street Hunter for designing such an epic wing. But that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys Guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace